Hi, this is Galit Gofar and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling in control because today our quote of the day is, in that power of self-control lies the seed of eternal freedom by Paramahansa Yogananda. Self-control is the equivalence of freedom and of mental health because psychology shows that the amount of self-control we have is in direct proportion to our mental health. Can you remember a time when you were madly in love with someone? You may have felt you have lost all self-control and felt may have felt despair when things took too long or did not go as you wished. Well, this is a time when mentally you were less stable. There is a direct connection between the amount of self-control we have and how good we feel with ourselves. And this goes in both directions. When we feel that we are holding the steering wheel of our life, then we will feel happy with ourselves. But we will feel bad with ourselves when we feel that we are controlled by someone or something that is external to us. And if we want, truly want to control our destiny and to be happy with ourselves, then we will need self-control. But what exactly is self-control? Well, according to the dictionary, self-control is the control, is the ability to control oneself, in particular, one's emotions and desires, especially in difficult situations. Now, when you control your emotions and desires, especially in difficult situations, then you also control your destiny and your level of happiness. The reason that having self-control allows you to control your destiny is because of the law of cause and effect, which Ralph Waldo Emerson called the law of laws. He called it the law of laws because he said that it is the most important lesson involving human conduct and interaction. This law states that we reap what we sow. Basically, it means that we won't reap oranges if we sow potatoes. Now, we will always control what we sow at all times. We control the causes, therefore we control the effects. People who have a harmonious life with peace of mind, happiness, health, abundance, and a great relationship are people who have self-control. They control the causes and thus they, they control the effects of, and the results of their life. When I first learned this law in 2004, through my lawyer, it, I was completely shocked. It completely transformed my life because I learned that I am the creator of my life, that I have power over my life. I understood that we are all so very powerful. When you have self-control over your thoughts, beliefs, words, and actions, you have control over the physical manifestations in your life. The creations are the thoughts and the beliefs, and these form your words and actions that lead to specific uh, physical manifestations in your life. If you want to lead, lead your ideal life sometime in the future, then you will have to have control over your thoughts, beliefs, words, and actions today and adjust them to form, to get them to lead you to, in the right direction. And this will change your direction of life towards where you would like it to be. Now, you see your life also through your beliefs. I want to talk a little bit about our beliefs. You will not let thoughts that negate your beliefs to enter your mind, even if your beliefs are wrong about something. Limiting beliefs are most often wrong, yet if we believe in them, we will only allow things into our life that correspond to these beliefs, even when they are completely wrong. We live according to our beliefs. If, for example, we happen to be good at something that we do not believe that we are good at, we will remove the thought about being good at that something from our mind as if it didn't happen. I want to tell you a story from my life. When I was a young student during my first degree at the university, six months after I began studying, I was in a serious car accident where I had a head-on collision with another car. It happened right after our first semester exams. I was in the hospital and missed about three months of the next semester, so I could not go back at the time, and, and I would have to wait until the next semester to resume my studies. I was not sure I was good enough. In fact, I believed that I was really bad and uh, could not and 
could not continue my studies anyway, so I planned not to go back to university after I had healed. But then one day, I got a phone call from the head of the faculty where I was studying, and he asked me what was happening with me and when I planned on returning to university. And I told him that I did not plan on coming back. And he asked me why, and I said, I, I don't think I'm good enough to, to go back. And then he told me that my grades were actually of the highest in the class. I was totally shocked. I did not believe it. He told me that I excelled especially in all of the sciences. And from that moment, my beliefs changed about my studying abilities, and I managed to finish my first degree in two and a half years instead of three years. So I caught up on the, on the semester that I missed because of the car accident. All of a sudden, I believed in my abilities to study, and I managed to study even more than everyone else did during every semester. Now, this is the power of beliefs. So when we have full self-control over our thoughts, beliefs, words, and actions, we can determine the quality of our life and our destiny. Michael Altschuler said it well when he said that the bad news is that time flies and the good news is that you are the pilot. You will create the destiny you desire through self-control over your thoughts, your words, your beliefs, and your actions. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help you move your life to a better place for you and you will reach that ideal life for you. So the question of the day is, what do I have in my life that I am not happy with at this time? And what thoughts, beliefs, words, and actions created my current situation? And what thoughts, beliefs, words, and actions can bring me towards my desired situation. Now, all you have to do is have the self-control over those thoughts, beliefs, words, and actions to get you to where you truly desire to be. So as usual, I recommend writing this question in a notebook that you have especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can make sure that you're moving your life in the right direction. So as I always do, I will finish this video with an affirmation. And the affirmation of the day is, I am powerful. I am the master of my destiny. I choose my thoughts, beliefs, words, and actions wisely. I am powerful. I am the master of my destiny. I choose my thoughts, beliefs, words, and actions wisely. Now tell this affirmation to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life for the better through repetition. So thank you very much for joining. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button if this is the kind of content that you like. Also, please visit my website at thegorilladiet.com for anything to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining.